All right, let's go to question number 18, which says one mole monoatomic idle gas goes through cyclic process EFGE, EFGE, and EFHE. And the processes are isochoric. This has to be isochoric. Isobaric. This has to be isobaric. Isothermal and adiabatic. So this has to be isothermal and this adiabatic because the slope magnitude is greater. We got to see the magnitude of work done. First of all, if this is V0 and this is 32 P0, this has to be 32 V0 because for F and G, P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. Then for H, we could see PV gamma is constant. That's for FH where gamma is 5 by 3. On calculation, you would get H volume as 8 V0. So everything has been found out. Now for GE, the process GE is isobaric. And if I want to find the work done, quite obviously, that's going to give P0 into delta V, and that's 31 P0 V0. I'm writing the magnitude. Let's try to see option number S, FG. FG is an isothermal process. So the amount of work done is NRT log VF by VI, in other words, PV log VF by VI, and which gives option number 1, 160 P naught B naught log 2. Then option number Q, which is GH, GH work done can be found again by P naught into delta V, which would be 24 P0 V0. And for FH adiabatic, the work done is P2 V2 minus P1 V1 by gamma minus 1. And all this will lead us to option number E. So the correct answer for question number 18 is E. All right, question number 19, we got to list out and this is purely for dimension. Boltzmann's constant, this could be found out by energy equals to 3 by 2 kT. Coefficient of viscosity could be found by F by 6 RV. Planck's constant could be found by E upon frequency and thermal conductivity rate of heat flow by Ka delta theta by x. So all the temperature will have the dimension in Kelvin and listing all we could see that this will lead to key number 7. So question number 19 will have the answer C. Let's see the final question number 20. All right, the final question, question number 20 from Ray Optics Prism. Here is list 1 and E to F means we got to see the ray corresponding from E to F. Here you could see the ray E bends towards the normal here and right here away from the normal indicating this is rarer this is denser and from there to there if you compare you could see that mu1 would be rarer and mu2 would be denser so satisfying all this particular option e to f you could see that goes to option number two now let's see for E to G, you could see the ray here goes undeviated, even here it goes undeviated, indicating all the media have same refractive index. So E to G goes to option number 3. E to H, you could see here, 
here it's bending away from the normal and even here it's bending away from the normal and quite obviously it is not satisfying the condition of total internal reflection for the ray E to H in both the situation although it's passing from denser to rarer in each so E to H will lead us to option number S then let's see for E to I you could see that E to I even here it's satisfying the condition of TIR and here it's satisfying the condition of TIR angle of incidence being 45 degree so E to I would lead us to option number one so with all these things you could see that P having option number two Q going with option number three R with 4 and S with 1 gives us option number D. So answer for question number 20 would be D. So students, this was the solution for Physics JE Advanced 2013 Paper 2 Code 8. I wish you all the best for your examination. Thank you.